Uh, Madam President, members, I need to correct the record on a couple of points from Senator Ortman. Um, she indicated that uh, the statute of limitations in these cases would start running uh, from the time that people um, discover that they've had uh, the injury, and that's not what the content of the bill um, indicates. The four-year statute of limitation would begin from the date of the occurrence when the cause arises, not just a personal injury. You, typically, if you've been in a bad auto accident, you know when that happens. But when there are contract disputes or the other kinds of disputes, business-to-business -business disputes, um, we don't have a discovery rule in Minnesota in these cases. So it doesn't, it's not that you get to wait until you find out about the problem and then you get four years. It's when the problem occurs. You might not even find out that there was an issue until some information comes to light a year or two or three years after um, the occurrence. Uh, for example, in a business-to-business -business dispute where there's a contract issue, maybe you find out several years afterward that an employee um, had given some information to a competitor or an employee that had left your company and information comes out from a competitor that tells you, boy, that must have happened three years ago, uh, and or maybe it happened five years ago, under current statute of limitations, you still have a right to bring a contract dispute. And in fact, many states allow 10 or 15 years for contract disputes to be brought. Four years in Minnesota would be too short, and that will shortchange your business uh, community as well. And I should also note, um, in, especially in collection matters, and I've, I've talked a little bit about that before, a shorter limitation period will cause more debt collectors to file cases in court. It will increase court filings because oftentimes there is a long period of time during which uh, collectors, either credit card companies themselves or third-party debt collectors, whether it's uh, directly on behalf of the, uh, the, the creditor or if it's as uh, on behalf of a, a third-party purchase debt, they will try to work out payment plans and they will try to make all sorts of efforts to collect the funds before filing in court. If they run up against the statute of limitations and they haven't finished working that out or they have some trouble with the payment plan and they haven't had a chance to get it sorted out yet, they're going to file that lawsuit because they're up against the statute of limitations rather than trying to work it out for another year or two. And for people who are on payment plans, this is really important. This bill actually could substantially increase filings in conciliation court or also in district court. Uh, so for those reasons, I encourage you to oppose this bill. I always understood we didn't have a discovery rule, and yet you're saying s four years after the discovery, and I don't think that's accurate. And I'm just asking you, do you believe it is accurate? I, I thought we don't have a discovery rule, and you were just saying that it was, and so I'm glad Senator Glatz raised it. But Madam President, I'd like clarification on when we have a discovery rule, because I understood we did not have one. Senator Ortman. Well, M Madam President, that's a much broader question than I'm prepared to answer on the Senate floor today, but I'm sure we can work on it in the Judiciary Committee. Um, you indicated, well, you're not sure about the discovery rule, but we can work on that. No, this is the bill on the floor right now. We ought to work on it right now, or we ought to send the bill back to, uh, uh, back to committee, not pass it off the floor. Uh, you've heard from both Senator Latz and Senator Marty relative to what happens in the state of Minnesota. If somebody is in an auto accident, uh, this afternoon and feels they're not injured, there's no problem, uh, two years from now, three years from now, there's a manifestation of those injuries, the statute of limitations has begun to toll this afternoon. That's what's true in almost every instance with litigation in Minnesota. And if you're unsure of that, you're not quite sure how it all works, then we shouldn't, you're the author of the bill, we shouldn't pass this bill off the floor of the Senate today. 